Hi guys, welcome to today's Mon Monday modeling tip. Your Monday modeling tip for today is to invite your child or student to communicate through the use of communication barriers. So Gail Van Tatenhove always talks about using barriers as a way to create communication opportunities. So that's your tip for today. Um, I thought this was ingenious. One of my moms um, had actually non-purposefully <laughs> done this. Uh, she had a magnet that I sent her and she had it where it closed off how her child could open up the doors. Um, and she had just placed it there to where it was kind of eye level and everything. But I was like, that's ingenious because he can't open the doors or well, he could if he really wanted to, but it's enough of a barrier to where it gave him pause and created that communication opportunity so that he could say, you know, I want, and then could finish it off with what he was wanting in side of the fridge. You know, they can tell you that they want to eat or they want something to drink. We can model on this. When we see that they go up to the fridge and they have that moment of pause, we could, you know, ask them, hmm, I wonder what you want to eat. Or I wonder if you want something to drink. So enough of a pause. So I have it to where I have a vertical fridge here in our kitchen. So, um, you can uh, put it on the handles if you think it's going to, it actually sticks really well and doesn't move too much. Um, but if you feel like it is going to fall off, you have that type of fridge, you could just easily put it just between the doors. And I'm going to show you our garage um, fridge because it's a horizontal one and show you how that's placed as well. So here's a horizontal if you have your freezer up on top and your refrigerator down below, how you could put it between the two doors. And again, just enough of a pause that it's creating that communication opportunity. And we can say, ooh, I wonder if you want something to drink or would you like to get something to eat? Um, they can tell you if they need your help or they can give you a command and say, get me yogurt. Um, we can work on manners by saying, please, you know, open it, please. Other commonly used communication barriers um, when you are at home or even at school, you can put a highly desired object, activity, um, sensory toy, whatever it is. Um, you can find a Tupperware bin. These are usually fairly hard for kids to manipulate and open. They also make them to where you can get like latches that lock and everything um, or clip down, not lock. Um, and then they can use that so they can see, I like them when they're clear, so they can see what's in there. If it's a squishy toy, if it's Play-Doh, if it's just a favorite figurine of theirs, um, maybe an iPod or an MP3 player or something. But putting it in here and then again, it's just enough pause that then it's a barrier and um, gives them that communication opportunity to either ask for your help. Help or if they can open it open. or that they want, want that. that item. They want that. Other truly most of the time naturally occurring barriers um, are glue bottles. Uh, so glue bottles, the kids, I swear, can never get this out. And this is my own house, guys, and look at this. My kids did not screw it all the way down down to the bottom and we have dry glue up at the top so it is not not going to work it's going to be a barrier for them and then that's going to be a communication opportunity where they can again ask help. for help they can tell me this is one of my favorites um to use is to say that something wrong. is wrong something's wrong you know they can draw your attention to it by saying look 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 and tell you that something's wrong, that it's, and then we can talk about how it is dry, too dry, and that we can't use it, and that we have to get a new, new one. Uh, another one is markers, so dry erase markers, regular markers, they often dry up on us and aren't working or aren't coloring the best. So lots of the same words and another communication opportunity. So there's your Monday modeling tip. 
using barriers as a way to invite our children or our students to communicate. Thanks for watching.